In this video, I will be showing you how to navigate in your data entry form using the voice data recording system. During your data collection process, you'll want to have to navigate through your form to go back and either do a correction or update a data field, or you'll want to go up to a different record. And in Dragon, you can use the press command to press uh, navigation keys, such as up, down, left, or right, or tab, or enter, and I'll show you how that works. Wake up, press up, press down, press right, press left, enter, tab, notes, stop. So you can see I used the command press and then specified which key to navigate around. And I also voice in the command notes, which is what I programmed in Dragon to navigate to the notes field. And I'll show you how to program one of these navigation commands. So you, as you recall, I said press up. So I want to simplify that to just saying up. So I'll show you how to do that quickly. So we go to Tools, Command Browser. We're going to create a new command called up. So we'll type that in. And now train our voice to it. Now we're done. And the type of command we're going to use is step by step because it's just a simple keystroke. So here we can insert a keystroke. As you recall, there's different things you can do. You can type text if you wanted to have it type in a word, but we're going to do a keystroke. So we're going to hit insert and I'm going to hit the up arrow on the keyboard. So when I say up, it's going to press the up key. And we're going to save this. And then I'll show you how that works here. Wake up. Up. Up, up, down, down, stop. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I created the command called up, so it goes up. And I also created a command earlier called down, so it went down. Now, there's another navigational trick you can use in Dragon that's really useful to navigate anywhere on the screen which is called mouse grid, which basically breaks the screen up into nine different grid cells. And then you speech in the number, and it zooms you in to go to a certain point. And at that point, at the last place where you want your cursor to be, you can just say click and then continue on. So let's say I want to go to the 8502 here in scales. So when we're down here, let's just say you caught something uh, that you need to go fix and you want to navigate there. So we're going to navigate to the 8502 field. So wake up, mouse grid, 1, 9, 6, 6 click. So you can see undo, stop. So you can see I used mouse grid to navigate there, and I forgot to shut the microphone off as I was speeching. So I used the command undo to fix that error. So you see I'm there. Now I can voice in a different command. Uh, I can say select all to highlight that and change the value and do a correction. So the mouse grid is very useful to navigate anywhere on the screen you want to do. And then you can execute Windows level commands such as